Dear students, good morning to you. This class for class ten. In last class, I have finished question number three of exercise eight point two. So today I will start question number four. Here given that state whether the following are true or false, justify your answer. This question sir now is very important for one mark question. You know the ten questions will be that multiple choice questions. So this type of questions are very important. The questions like that multiple choice. True and false. Fill up the gaps. Okay. So this type of questions now it is is very important for one mark question. Okay. Start then. Uh, question number four. Number one. Here sine a plus b is equal to sine a plus sine b. Here chapter eight trigonometry exercise eight point two question number four. Number one. Given we have to uh, say true or false. Here given that number one sine a plus b is equal to sine a. Plus sine b. Okay, so this we have to say true or false. Okay, because you see one thing is that that sine theta sine is not multiplied with theta. Sine theta is completely one term. Is that clear? Then sine here also sine is not multiplied with a plus b. Okay, then it is looking that it is true, but we have to justify whether it is true or false actually or not. So for that, if we suppose That uh, a equal to 30 degree. Suppose and b is equal to suppose 60 degree. With this value, we will justify left hand side and right hand side. Then this side you uh, will put the value a suppose 30 and b 60 suppose. Then sine uh, 30 plus 60 is 90 and sine 90 value is 1 from the 10. Okay, left hand side we got the value is one for this angle thirty and sixty degree. Now right hand side, right hand side sine a plus sine b. Then sine thirty plus sine sixty. Angle b we suppose sixty we put the value and sine thirty we know half and sine sixty root three by two. Now if we simplify with two will be the LCM one plus root three. Okay, this is the Uh, value of this term, and if we simplify, how much will simplify? One will not get. So it's clear that left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Means sine a plus b equal to sine a plus sine b is not true. It is false. Okay. So answer is false. Answer is false. So sometimes we cannot say the answer directly. We have to justify. So it is completely justified with the value. Okay. We can take the other values also, but for any value of a and b. Uh, this is not equal to this. Actually, what formula I am showing you that you will get in the higher classes that sine a plus b. Actually, this is will be true that sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Sine a plus b equal to this term is true. Okay, this term you will get this formula in the higher classes. Or sometimes this type of math can give also to verify. So I have written this term line. You will put this value a 30 and b 60. You will put this value and you will verify that this side already got one. And if we put the value of a and b 30 and 60, you will simplify. You will get one. Means we can say sine a plus b equal to sine a plus b plus cos a sine b. Okay, this will verify. So okay, then it is number one. The answer is false. Then number two. Read the question number two. Number two questions here given that the value of sine theta increases as theta increases. Okay, the value of sine theta increases as theta increases. So for this we have to see the table, the trigonometric table, table eight point one page number one eighty five. Here sine value is see first sine zero value zero, then one by two, then one by root two, then root three by two is one. It is clear that sine Value is increasing when theta is increasing. Theta zero, thirty, forty-five, sixty, ninety. Theta value is increasing, and the value of sine also is increasing. Okay, so it is true. Then as theta increases, sine value also increases. So it is true. So the number two answer is true. I am not writing here, but I I have seen I have shown in the uh, table also. So it is true. Number three, the value of cos theta increases as theta increases. Then the cos value you see cos value cos first zero is one then root three by two one by root two one by two and zero here you see as theta increases 
but cos theta value is not increasing cos value is decreasing okay so this is not true this is false here given in cases actually that as theta increase cos value will be decreased but here given is increase so three number answer is false okay so what will be the true as theta increase cos value will be decreased is that clear but here given increase so it is false then number four sin theta equal to cos theta for all values of theta okay number four that sin theta is equal to cos theta it is true for all for all values of theta we have to verify it if you see the table if you see the table sin 45 value 1 by root 2 and cos 45 value also 1 by root 2 so sin and cos are equal only for the uh, angle 45 okay so sin 45 1 by root 2 and cos 45 also 1 by root 2 but you see sin 30 sin 30 value is half but cos 30 value is e root 3 by 2 is that clear so you see for 30 it is not equal so this is not true for all theta okay so sin theta equal to cos theta only for theta equal to if theta equal to 45 for other value is not true so the answer will be false okay so when it will be equal when theta equal to particular 45 degree angle from table also you can find it is that clear so it is not true for all theta sin theta equal to cos theta only for theta equal to 45 so number four answer is false in this case then number five cot a is not defined for angle a equal to zero cot a is not defined for if a equal to zero we have to verify we know that cot is opposite of 10 suppose you cannot find but i say that all the formulas and table at least sign cos and 10 this value we have to know it suppose you know 10 then cot is opposite of 10 okay suppose then we can write cot a equal to 1 by 10 and we know that uh, 10a 10a is 0 10 0 then 10 0 value is 0 suppose you know 10 then you have to know at least sine cos and 10 then we can find the other values from the relation okay we know that 10 is opposite of cot means complement uh, means uh, reciprocal of cot so a 0 10 0 value 0 but 1 by 0 is you see it is not defined it is not defined so yes cot a is not defined for a equal to 0 so it is correct okay number 4 answer is true so we have justified this way you have to justify okay so number 4 question number 4 all is finished all is finished this is question number 5 so uh, this way you have to justify so number four question is finished so this exercise is finished now in the same page you read uh, one headline trigonometric ratios of complementary angles so this exercise you will get six new formulas i say that in this chapter every exercise you will get new new formulas okay second exercise you got a table and if you learn the table, you can solve the problem. If you don't know the value of table or don't know the table, you cannot solve the problem. Anyway, so uh, this headlines you see trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. So this headlines trigonometric ratios of complementary angles okay you know the definition of complementary angle sum of two angles is 90 then the angles are said to be complementary angle okay with this definition we will uh, find the ratios of trigonometric uh, ratios of complementary angles suppose one angle is 30 if we ask you what is the complement of 30 then we will say 60 because 30 plus 60 is equal to 90. Suppose one angle is 40. So what is the complement of 40? It is 50 because 40 plus 50 is 90. Okay. These are some examples of the complementary angle. Suppose one angle is 50, uh, one angle is 70. 70. 
then complement of 70 is 20, 70 plus 20 is 90. These are some examples of the complementary angle. Then what will be the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles? Is that clear? So basic is that complementary angle we have to know. Then complementary uh, uh, angles of trigonometric ratios. Okay. So here we will get six new formulas. Okay. This formula you have to learn it. You have to learn. Now suppose general value is theta. One general angle is theta. Then what is the complement of theta? Then 90 minus theta. Okay. Because theta plus 90 minus theta is equal to 90. Okay. Then uh, for the general angle theta, the complement is 90 minus theta. Now one angle, suppose it is given 90 minus theta. How will find or how will solve the problem? Suppose it is given the cos 90 minus theta this way. So it is the complement of an angle theta. Then how to solve, how to simplify these formulas, we have to know it. Okay. So for this you see, 